Hey everybody, today we're going to continue on with the disassembly of this Cooler K321. Um, in the last video, I went over how to do a leak down test on this, and the leak down results were pretty good. Since then, I've taken off all the outer cooling tins on it, and today we're going to remove the cylinder head and see what kind of carbon buildup we have. Alright, so this is pretty straightforward. We have nine total fasteners here, um, eight bolts and one stud. If this was a uh, K341, you would have ten, but all the other K series, I believe, are nine. So it's just as simple as removing all the bolts. So let's get started. All right, so here's a combustion chamber. You can see there's a lot of oily buildup on there. Um, like I said before, this tractor engine smoked quite a bit, and that oily buildup on there is evidence of that. So we're going to go ahead and put that in the parts washer here, get that cleaned up. Alright, so while that soaks, let's take a look at the rest of it. Uh, you can see around the piston here and around the valves, there's a lot more oily buildup, just like on the combustion chamber. There's actually a bunch of it here, just all crusted on there. Look at that. That's, um, piston, it's a standard piston, so this, this engine's never been bored over. The piston does look really new though, so I, I wouldn't be surprised if this engine was rebuilt with a standard piston and just not bored. Or it might not have ever been rebuilt at all. It's hard to tell. Either way, there's a lot of buildup from all the oil getting into the engine whenever it was smoking. Um, I have a feeling that there's something else going on with this engine that was causing it to smoke so much. Uh, maybe some kind of an issue with the breather. I've already opened up the intake valve here. It's probably hard to see in the video. There's, there's even a lot of oily buildup there as well. So Take a look down in the bore there. There's no scoring or anything on, this, on the uh, cylinder wall anywhere. There's not even a ridge or anything here. Um, it's really it's hard to tell. I'm not an expert on these, uh, um, whether or not this engine is being rebuilt. Like I said, it has a standard piston in it, but that doesn't necessarily mean that it hasn't been rebuilt. For now though, I'm going to go ahead and get this cleaned up, get all the oil and the carbon off of it, and we'll go from there.
All right, guys, as you can see, I got most of the carbon off of both areas of the engine. Um, I think the thing to do here now is probably going to be to go ahead and pull the piston out and get a micrometer on the piston and the bore and just see where this engine stands as far as that goes. Depending on what I would find there, um, would determine whether or not I go any further with rebuilding anything or if I just go ahead and put it back together and run it. So depending on what I find whenever I get the micrometer on the piston and the bore, that'll determine whether or not I go further with re rebuilding. I might even have to end up sending this block out to a machine shop to have it bored over. And um, we'll probably cover that on one of the next videos. I hope you liked this video. If you did, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.